A California public defender assigned to state hospital escapee Randall Saito is asking a judge for more time because Saito does not want to be sent back to the islands. Uh, first of all, the waiver extradition thing, uh, I really don't want to go back to Hawaii. Well, I trust him when he said in court, I don't want to go back to Hawaii. So I guess he'll enjoy these Thanksgiving feasts at the San Joaquin County Jail. Saito's extradition hearing has been pushed back to November 27th. Some legal experts say that Saito's escape and on-camera interviews could eventually set him free. Manola Morales goes beyond the headlines. Manola? Joe, experts tell me that the last few days could show proof that Saito is legally sane. So if he serves time for the escape charge, it's possible that he could then be released from the state hospital. There's a strong argument that by him escaping, he's going to talk his way out of being in the state hospital. It can happen. That's just the way the law is. Defense attorney Michael Green tells me that if Saito is found guilty of the escape charge and serves his sentence, he could then make the case against returning to the state hospital by saying he's no longer criminally insane. Green says Saito's meticulously planned escape along with his demeanor on camera can support that. That he's clearly in my view, seems very lucid, very stable. He's able to, to conclude various things. He expresses why he did things 37 years ago. He remembers all of this, why he did it. He prays every day for the victim. This guy is very, very slick. Whether Saito planned this all along is hard to say, but he would still have to prove that he's not a danger to society. UH Law School Assistant Professor Ken Lawson tells me that would be critical in keeping Saito in the state hospital. So it would make sense for the state, say, even if he serves that five years, to say, you know what, he is still a danger to the community and he should be back at the state hospital. Yeah, he's, yeah. he understood his actions when he escaped. We're not saying that, that, that he's not guilty by reason of insanity on this one, right? But he still can't be released because he hasn't been restored to sanity. The reason why, he's still a danger. Lawson tells me that is a more likely scenario. If Saito asks the court to declare him legally sane, a panel of three doctors would have to examine Saito and make a recommendation to the judge. The judge would then determine whether Saito should be released from the state hospital. We reached out to the state attorney general's office about this, and a spokesman did not want to comment. Once again, that extradition hearing is scheduled for the 27th. We will let you know what happens. Joe? Thanks, Manolo. We're hearing more tonight from Saito. In a new interview from a California jail, the escapee admits he used a fake ID to get to California. I got a fake ID and used it and worked. It was a pretty good one. I mean, I was surprised. No, no, no. I really can't tell you that either, but I can tell you it was pretty good. I mean, it, I was surprised it actually worked. I was, I was expecting almost every every leg of the way. I was expecting for them to be right around the corner. Saito's confession in using a fake ID could have helped authorities catch him quicker if they were notified. That's according to lawmakers we spoke with. Bridget Namada continues our coverage. Bridget? Joe, it took hours for hospital employees to notify law enforcement of Saito's escape, something we're told played a big factor in how he got to California. I also spoke with Congresswoman Hanabusa, who tells me issues at the hospital have been coming to light for years. Randall Saito said he used a fake ID to charter his flight to Maui and get through TSA at Kahului Airport to fly to California. Representative Matt Lapresti says Saito should have been caught at the airport. It doesn't matter if somebody has a fake ID or, or traveling under an alias. If you give them TSA the information, they can still try to find and stop the person from fleeing. Lapresti got an answer from TSA. Airport authorities weren't alerted until Tuesday, two days after Saito escaped. Lapresti got a hold of TSA through the Hawaii State Fusion Center, which helps coordinate and communicate between federal, state, and local agencies in the interest of public safety. The Fusion Center tells me it wasn't notified of Randall Saito. It took 10 hours for Hawaii State Hospital employees to alert law enforcement. By that time, Saito had already left the state. If we get the word, escapee, it's going to be standard operating policy, we're going to get that to TSA as well as we can get that to the airport duty manager as well as the airlines we have airlines that are our partners as well
The health department said Hawaii State Hospital is taking corrective actions. We got a hold of Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa, who flew in from Washington, D.C. She says Hawaii State Hospital has a history of personnel-related matters. How did it uh, fall through the cracks like, like it did, that you now need retraining? I mean, clearly, that's something that uh, should not be a response at this stage, not after all of those uh, studies and reports. TSA told Lepresti if they were alerted of the escape, Saito would have been added to the secure flight system, which blocks fugitives from trying to book an airline ticket. Joe.